I'll go prep, prep, prep it up. Science, math, we can't get enough. Learn with friends, friends, friends all day. Argo prep helps us find the way. Hey there, little scientists. I'm Pushy Pulley the Spider, and boy, do I love to move! You might notice I'm a bit rounder than your average spider. That's because I'm full of energy for pushing and pulling. My eight legs are always ready for action. Sometimes I use them to push off walls when I'm swinging on my web. Whee! Other times I pull myself up my silky strings. My big green eyes help me spot all sorts of things to push and pull. Oh, and my favorite color is purple, in case you couldn't tell. I'm so excited to teach you. Today, we're going to learn about two super important actions, push and pull. These are things you do every day, even if you didn't know their special names. Here's what we're going to discover. What? pushing means, what pulling means, how pushing and pulling can make things move. Are you ready? Let's go! First, let's talk about pushing. When you push something, you're moving it away from you. It's like giving a gentle shove to make something go forward. Can you think of times when you push things? Let me tell you when I push things. I push a swing to make it go higher. Sometimes I push a shopping cart at the grocery store. Oh, and I push doors open to enter rooms. I also love pushing toy cars across the floor to make them zoom. When I'm helping clean up, I push my chair in at the table. And you know what? When I draw, I'm actually pushing my crayon across the paper. Can you think of other times when you push things? Excellent! Let's try a fun activity. Find something small and light nearby, like a toy car or a small ball. Now use your hand to gently push it across a flat surface. What happened? When I pushed my toy car, it moved away from me. That's what pushing does. It makes things move away. Let me tell you when I pull things. I pull my shoes on when I'm getting dressed. I pull a wagon filled with toys around the playground. Oh, and I pull open the refrigerator door when I'm hungry. I also love pulling my favorite book from the bookshelf to read. When I'm thirsty, I pull my water bottle closer to take a drink. And you know what? When I put on my backpack, I'm pulling the straps over my shoulders. Can you think of other times when you pull things? Let's do another activity. Find something you can safely pull, like a stuffed animal or a piece of string. Now gently pull it toward you. What happened? Here's what I noticed when I did this. When I pulled my stuffed animal, it moved closer to me. That's what pulling does. It makes things come closer. Now, let's answer some questions about what we've learned in this video. When you push something, does it move away from you or towards you? Let's review the answer. When you push something, it moves away from you. Pushing makes things go farther away. When you pull something, does it move away from you or towards you? Let's review the answer. When you pull something, it moves towards you. Pulling brings things closer. Can you name something you pushed today? Can you name something you pulled today? Great job, young scientists.
Let's recap what we learned today. Pushing moves things away from us. Pulling moves things towards us. We use push and pull actions every day. In our next video, we'll learn even more about how pushing and pulling can change the way things move. This is Pushy Pulley signing off. See you next time for more wiggly giggly science fun. Had fun spinning through science with us? The adventure doesn't have to end here. Join us at argoprep.com for more awesome discoveries. Subscribe now and continue your journey through the Argo Prep universe. Let's make learning and adventure together. Visit argoprep.com and start learning today.